back with another video, you feel me? This is a story of Gabriel, you know what I'm saying? The races get basket. Now, I'm pretty sure this is, I hope this is the right one. Uh, this is the Mexican gift basket, I think. Pretty sure, right? Yeah. Um, Mexican gift basket. Uh, definitely ready to go ahead and uh, check this one out. Uh, see what it's about. If y'all haven't seen the, uh, what was it, the, uh, the original races get back make sure y'all go yeah. check that out because we react to that and then y'all was commenting was like react to this one so we about to get into this one make sure that like button hit that subscribe button you feel me let's go ahead and jump in this video before you know it people started bringing me mexican racist gift baskets Now, when it first started happening, listen, guys, I'm not going to lie. It was actually kind of cute because it was only other Mexicans bringing me these quote unquote Mexican racist gift baskets. It started in L.A. after a show. This one guy walks up to me with a basket and he's like, hey, what's up, homie? Got your racist gift basket. I said, we're the same race. Yeah, hey, whatever. All right, whatever. <laughs> well, I take it. it backstage and all the items in the basket made it to my house. There was a Mexican blanket with a tiger on it, a bunch of bottles of Fanta, bottles of Sangria, Vicente Fernandez CDs, Mexican candy, pan dulce, sweet bread, mazapanes. Everything made it to my house. <laughs> now, the more East Coast we started traveling and the more down South we started performing, the more creative the gift basket started getting. Fast forward to Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> oh, it gets good. Earlier tonight, before we kicked off this special, my friend Martin was out here making a couple of announcements. One of the announcements that he made was, if you brought a gift, please hold on to it until after the show. Don't bring it to the stage. It could interrupt the flow of the performance. The only reason why he makes this announcement every single night is because of one show in Mobile. So here's what happens. I tell the entire racist gift basket story, the full 16 minutes, right? As soon as I finish, a guy from the back of the theater rushes the front of the stage. Now keep in mind, this area is full. In Mobile, the aisle was right up the middle. So uh. the guy had a clean shot to me. He hauled ass like it was the prize is right, all the way down. <laughs> Much like tonight, there was security there that night. Security sees the guy with the basket, but no one thought to stop him. All they did was, that's pretty. <laughs> oh, that's nice, that's pretty, yeah. So the guy makes it all the way to the front, he takes the gift basket and he puts it on the stage. Now he's heckling me from where you're sitting. I'm standing here and he's like, Fluffy! What's up, dude? I got this for you. Thank you. Open it. <laughs> I go, sir, we're kind of in the middle of a show right now. I says, I appreciate the gift. That's very nice of you. I says, but uh, how about this? I'll, I'll open it after the show. Oh, come on, Fluffy. I want to see your face. Um, sir, how about this? How about you take the gift basket and you bring it over here to the side of the stage where security's at, and I'll have security escort you behind the curtain, and then I'll open it up backstage with you in front of me. How's that? And he's not taking no for an answer. Now, the problem is the crowd just saw me tell the racist gift basket story and all of a sudden there's a guy with a gift basket they have no idea i'm not affiliated with freaking duck dynasty in the front row <laughs> so now i'm trying to defuse the situation before it gets crazy but he's not taking no for an answer next thing you know he does something no other audience member has ever done in my 19 plus years as a comedian he takes the whole crowd away from me flips them and then uses them on me in five seconds. It was the most amazing, horrific thing I have ever witnessed. He put him on the spot. This is all he did. Come on, Fluffy! We want to see your face! We want to see your face! We want to see your... He gets 2,000 people behind him to start chanting, We want to see your face! We want to see your face! It was very evident this was not the first rally he's ever led. <laughs> rally. The crowd is so loud, I can no longer hear myself over the monitor. So I'm like, I lost. So I get on my hands and knees, I put the microphone down, I grab the gift basket, and I start tearing it open. I reach in. Forget about pulling out Mexican soda, Mexican candy, or a Mexican blanket. This dude was a pro. <laughs> I started pulling out gardening tools. Oh.
I'm pulling out a rope. I feel like that, that's the raise to get right there. Yeah. Them gardening tools. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling out a rake, a toy shovel, a toy leaf blower. Dig deeper, Flappa, dig deeper. <laughs> I pull out a soccer ball. I go, dude, it's this Puerto Rico. They ran out of Mexico. <laughs> I pull out a brick. I go, what's the brick for? The wall. Oh. I pull out an actual application for U.S. citizenship. I said, there's no way this can get any worse. Dig deeper. I was wrong. <laughs> I pull out an old school box of Crayola crayons. You know the 64 pack that has the sharpener in the back? Okay. There's a window on the front of the crayon so you can see all of the colors that are in the box. All of the crayons in the box are brown except for one white crayon right in the middle. And I said, what the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> and he looks at me and he says, welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> the crayon is laughing so hard I know for a fact I don't have a joke that's gonna follow that so I made it seem like that was the end of my performance I picked up the gift basket I said thank you mobile and I gave the guy a dirty look Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey that was crazy that was lit I messed with that that was lit no cap it, 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 I, I think the, the worst part was what he said the wall uh, yeah, yeah was, the wall with the brick. You know what I'm saying? That was crazy. Uh, but you already know. Make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, if there's other like, you know what I'm saying? Um, what do y'all call them? Fluffy? I think they call them Fluffy. In the comments, uh, they said hashtag Fluffy. So yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, they'll stay call them and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but definitely mess with it heavy. Uh, so make sure y'all comment down below um, and let us know if there's other comedians that y'all mm -hmm. want us to uh, react to as well. Please, please, please make sure y'all comment down below because we will hear Mike Epps, Kyle Williams, uh, Mike Epps, Kyle Williams, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, uh, it was a, George Carlin, yep. uh, who else am I missing? Uh, Dave Chappelle. Uh, we didn't hit on it. We didn't hit on a lot of comedians, a lot of comedians. So make sure y'all comment down below and let us know. Uh, we was gonna check out Lavelle Crawford too. Uh, so so he might be coming soon, but make sure y'all definitely comment up, comment down below and let us know. Make sure y'all also go check out Reckless Vlogs, you feel me, behind the scenes um, of, you feel me, our world. Uh, <laughs> make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Catch y'all next one.